Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another 642 AD siege battle for you today. So if you don't know what 642 AD is, it's a mod for Attila Total War. And it is obviously set in like the Dark Ages period after Attila and between like the Age of Charlemagne sort of period and like so it's that sort of period. So it's like so yeah, so a lot of uh, a lot of barbarian factions going on and we can see here that we're starting off with a East Saex charge here onto the Byzantine Empire that are assaulting today. So we have uh, a 3v2 here, so the uh, defenders are outnumbered and are outclassed. Because they have, uh, you can see the Byzantines with their pikes, their elite uh, warriors ready to face uh, Isaiah. This cavalry need to get out of here really, uh, like immediately, just about now. And you can see uh, we've got some uh, some shock cavalry over here that are getting beaten by some uh, some medium bow cavalry, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, so we have Isaiah here. Riding around, uh, trying to go after some uh, artillery and other stuff like shock infantry and all sorts. You can see here we've got some uh, some shock cavalry doing just that. The me uh, melee cavalry which is trying to go for the artillery, getting uh, taken out. And here we go, we're going to get the uh, perspective of the cavalry here. And they're going to go into the shock infantry, this is a Varangian guard. And there you go, they just run them down. Or well, they're like a Varangian unit anyway. What are they called? They're, yeah, Tamag... Tamagoton Varangion. Oh. Brangon. Yeah, they're like a Varangian guard, basically. They're quite good. And that one, yeah, they got for a decent charge. 55 men left. Could definitely go for another decent charge. And there's lots of things chasing them around. Look at all these uh, like swords and stuff. I mean, they look awesome. I think these units look really cool. Uh, just slight, slightly different. They're obviously, like, there you go. There's a decent charge coming in there again, knocking down these swords. But yeah, I mean, the Byzantines have got, like, some similar units because, and because well, they haven't changed massively since... Uh, the Tiller period, but they have got some different units, like these guys are different. Got some kite shields. But yeah, so we have a 3v2 today, so we have a Byzantine Empire. We also have, uh, well, uh, we also have out on this side, we've got a, a little bit of Vasali going. We've got, uh, we've got, who we got here? We've got the Basque, I'm pretty sure, and we also have uh, Mercia here, who are attacking, and they are defend, and the defenders today are the, uh, I'm pretty sure these are, um, I can't remember. These are like the Magyars or something like that. I can't remember what their name is actually off the top of my head. They're like the Magyars. They're one of the step factions. And then we also have uh, we have Isaacs here today. I don't know these factions too well, too well. I forget like half of them already because they're very very either similar to Attila, and I don't really play the mod uh, very often. But we we fancy playing it uh, recently. So and this is a really really good siege battle. So I recommend you stick around to see how this one goes on. Um, but yeah, you can see here we have. Uh, some spears that are winning this fight here. What are these spears then? They must be doing very heavy spears against, uh, well, medium infantry. I guess, like, yeah, that's fair enough. This is like a Palantina unit that's, uh, it's an ex-Romans, like, ex-Roman unit that's, uh, serving with, uh, the Basques, I guess. I don't know. It's a Palatina. That's a Roman. Palatina used to be a Roman unit. And Attila. These guys are very elite. Look at the armor they have. Like going on, They're fully armored up. These guys. They look awesome. Uh, the cavalry is doing okay. I mean, it's still holding its ground. It's noble step cavalry here, doing its best. I mean, it's not going to beat this bass cavalry. I think the shock cavalry just won't win in this uh, long melee against something against melee cavalry. I mean, Rydman apparently are struggling against these guys, so maybe they have a chance. Maybe they have a chance. But you can see over, over here, my archers, uh, all the way back here, are very much in range of uh, like being able to shoot if they want to. And uh, you can see here that Mercier is now inside. He has started the uh, the uh, melee engagement. And my infantry here, these, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, it's a Saxon name. Are, uh, they're losing, put it like that. They are losing against um, defying another Saxon name. I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Um, but they look really cool. Look at their like helmets. They're like jeweled helmets. These are a really elite unit. And I'll let you in on a little secret. These guys have a uh, unbreakable. So uh, they they have well they've got like a headhunt which gives them unbreakable. So if in doubt, just use that to uh, keep them out of uh, or keep them in the fight just a little bit longer. My archers here are getting some neat, decent kills on the uh, on the barricade. But if you're enjoying seeing uh, the content at the moment, I'd like to see more like 642 or just more Attila. 
Uh, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe from you around here, and uh, don't forget to leave a comment to show your support as well. I do enjoy uh, showing off like different mods like this, changing up a little bit. We do like a lot of uh, Rise mod or a lot of 12-12. Uh, Sometimes it's nice to show off some of the, uh, the, the smaller mods like um, 642 here, and I plan to show a bit of uh, the 55 AD uh, Justinian. 555. Five, five, five. It's uh, 555 AD, I'm pretty sure. Justinian mod or something's called by that. Um, but you can see that they're fighting over here as well are the. Uh, I think this is again. Is the, yeah, it's again is the Mercians. Fighting off against these uh, spears of the Magyars of or the Magyar faction. I'm not, again, I can't remember what they're called, like I said. I do apologize. At the end, I'm like, oh yeah, of course it was such and such. And like, that makes so much sense. But we have killed a general. Already, so uh, yeah, so a general went into combat here. You can see this Basque general here went in. He was fighting the spear unit, and uh, I'm taking me and my ally are taking this opportunity to use our uh, our archers, the shield archers here, and these archers all the way up here, focus down this general, and that general is d has died. So uh, now the Basques are without a general, and they are uh, looking a bit of, a bit shaky. Put it like that, these swords are now going to combat. This is the second wave of swords. I just like to say this is uh, the heavy melee infantry. This is a really good. Uh, Double-handed swords. Yeah, they've not got good missile blocks, so um, our archers again are going to have a real good joy taking these guys out. But uh, but yeah, so I mean, this is a bad sign for the Basque already, sitting in their most elite swords to try and deal with uh, to deal with um, the first wave. Really, we've got another cavalry unit coming out, another noble step cavalry, and it's going after. Uh, you can see after archers here, crossbows. It's going to run these guys down. Poor crossbows. They thought it was over. They thought the cavalry were gone. No, another one appears. I mean, this unit here is going to focus down the cavalry, but they're going to charge into this one now. Just ping pong off the two if needs be. Stop them from firing. Now the swords are turning around. These guys, like I said, have got really good uh, like uh, long swords. They'll like chop down this cavalry quite easily if they can get a chance, but they're getting focused down by archers. They really are. Look at these numbers so low already. And uh, they've routed all these archers. You can see the general is now trying to pin down the cavalry, and they're going to try and beat this cavalry. But they are running low on stuff. There's already just pikes left and, uh, and archers, and there's catapults where he used his ammo up as well. Don't even know what the catapult used his ammo up on. Um, maybe on cavalry? I'm not sure. Maybe on the infantry fight? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But the cavalry's getting absolutely destroyed now. The archers are really focusing down. Archers in this game, uh, in this mod, are really, really powerful, we found out. Um, but they have very little ammo. Um, like, we were destroying the shock infantry here. But, uh, yeah, at the time, it was like, that's really good that we have, like, good shock. But, uh, it's really vulnerable. I mean, the, yeah, shock infantry is really good in this game as well. As are archers, like I said, both are really good. But they're really easy to kill or, like, run out of ammo in the case of archers. So, uh, yeah, you got to be careful. You see Javi's coming in here. They're uh, hitting their own men along with, uh, Foe, these Uaro warriors here, doing their best. Everyone's got really shiny helmets, I've just realised. Everyone has like the shiniest of helmets. I've got like a, a mod on to help with like graphics, I don't know if that's just making it extra, sh like everyone have really bright helmets, I possibly, but I mean, these guys look awesome, what are these? Ah, oh, these are the names, this is the unit that I can't pronounce their name, because it's just in old Germanic, I guess. But yeah, this this unit's still holding here for a long time. They're holding their line. Just see all the uh, uh, jeweled helmets. This is kind of cool. But at this point, we're doing okay. I mean, the numbers are still not really in our favor. It's 4,000 against 5,400. Numbers still not looking great. And I mean, this Roman army is basically untouched. They've... Uh, been quite slow in appearing and joining because, uh, well, they've been dealing with the cavalry, I guess, that I sent out. Um, but also, they just generally were just taking a long time. I feel like they spent a lot of their, uh, they put a lot of ammo that they didn't need to into uh, destroying this hole in the wall. Well, they could have just uh, brought up a tower, captured the gate. I was not defending the gate. I was just defending here. Um, and yeah, they've got like units ready. You can see, look at these, these uh, Antiznani uh, here, like in a testudo. This looks awesome. Um, or like a shield wall, looks really cool. We've got another unit here doing it. And uh, yeah, we've got plenty of stuff ready for these guys. We've got archers ready. I mean, these archers here can reach uh, just about anything. They can reach all those swords over, where, uh, over there, sorry. Um, so yeah, so we've got plenty of stuff ready. We've got shield archers. 
And we've got uh, some Bo Boga Wigan, more Boga Wigan. Uh, all really like good archers, is what I was thinking. I was, I was going to say uh, experience, but I was just going to go with good. <laughs> They're good archers. Um, over here, it's not looking so good. Uh, good for the um, for the uh, Saxons, the Sayax. We're fighting another Saxon faction, the Mercians. Um, yeah, this, this sword unit's not that good. It's not actually able to hold up to uh, just about anything on this battlefield I've found so far. Which doesn't give me much confidence when we have to face the Romans, who've probably got the best army available. Uh, or the Byzantines, you say, who've got the best army available. Um, oh, that guy got a javelin in the face. I don't know if you saw that. Um, poor man. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so it's giving me a bit of worry. But they have Unbreakable, so that is my only, my only hope. Got a uh, unit here. I don't know if this is... Um, this might be... The Basques, I think. Yeah, this is the Basques. Another one of their really elite swords coming up. And they are flanked really nicely around that unit. And they have broken it just like that. We now have cavalry uh, storming up here. What, whose cavalry is this? This is the uh, Saxon cavalry ready. We've got plenty of swords coming over here. Coming to deal with it. We haven't really got masses of uh, shock or pikes or anything really to counter. We're using a lot of archers to counter stuff like uh, cavalry and uh, shock. Uh, most of our units can form shield wall, but the shield wall's not very like good. It's not like a really disciplined shield wall, like in, uh, say, like in um, thrones or in like or in base artillery or stuff like that. They don't actually really form shield wall properly. Which I kind of guess is the thing with like, oh look at that, like a shield, like it having a struggle with their shields. Oh, and the poor man just got gutted, and then he lost a leg. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's not really like a disciplined shield wall, um, so I don't think it's going to give you masses of benefits. And yeah, they, there they go. They're just breaking those. Uh, broke that tiny little unit there very easily. Now there's some more uh, sizable units coming up. Those elite uh, Basque swords are up here. They want me focusing down again. These guys are nasty. Look at that. Oh, crooked sword, that is. It's a wicked sword, I should say, really. Um, reminds me very much of the Falksman, I guess. And here comes some, some more axes coming up. This is the same unit I have available as uh, the Axe for Axemen. So uh, we will see who's got the superior one. I mean, neither of us really. You see here. Oh, beheaded that poor Uar warrior straight off the bat. And yeah, these axes, they should do quite well. They're going to do a very good job against these swords. Axes are quite nice in this mod. They do really, really well. You can see what we're setting up now. Some uh, shield archers come in with no ammo. They're just there to hold the line until we can get some more stuff in. Because this is all that's holding this flank now. Um, we're sending up more stuff. We've got like axes coming up now and all sorts. The Romans have now engaged on this flank. The Romans are finally getting into the fight. Romans, Byzantines are the same thing. I know some people say they're not, but they are really. Um, certainly at this point in history, they still believe they're very much the Roman Empire. They're really good. I mean, we're actually holding them quite nicely. Uh, with the archer fire that we're uh, throwing in as well, we're like getting some decent volleys off, uh, killing a fair few of these guys. There's ser some serious bobbling going on here. Uh, there's now pikes coming up. This is a real concern for us because we don't have any pikes to respond to this. So this is when we start to open fire with our archers. You see every single one of them now has been given the order to fire onto these pikes. Um, this is what we're really going for. You see they're getting set up in here. They down go the pikes, so they look like they were going to go down, but they're not quite. It's an absolute bloodbath in here. No quarter given. Fight! Fight for your loved ones and for your country. But uh, yeah, we're starting to lose this fight because the pikes are in there. I mean, they look at that, that pike unit's fresh literally minutes ago or seconds ago, even. And it's down to half strength, well, blow half strength, in fact. And we are not giving these uh, pikes any mercy. We just want them gone off the battlefield. Because then that might help balance out this fight again. Look at that, already wavering. Already wavering. There you go, broken. And there you go, the, pi uh, the pikes breaking has leveled out this fight a little bit more. And now my uh, men aren't losing their own combat even. Over here, we are getting broken finally. They've just broken this unit here. The first unit that was holding this line for so long, and now they can destroy this barricade if they want to. So 48% damage. Um, so they, they've got a good chance of destroying it if they need to. Uh, over here, it's looking a little bit worrying. We've got cavalry inside uh, like inside our lines. This uh, cavalry is uh, trying to be pinned down by the uh, general. 
the step warlord. He may just be pinned down in a moment. And um, we've got a bit of an issue here with, uh, again, those uh, swords and the, uh, we've got axes here as well. We've got a combination of uh, OR warriors uh, and, uh, and archers and all sorts in here trying to slow these guys down. I tried to give the order of my swords here to try and slow down this cavalry unit. They catch some of it, but not all of it. And yeah, they charge on into these uh, shield archers here, getting a nice little charge there. So well, that was really nicely done by the uh, by the uh, Mercian player. I think he's going to try and get past again. Yeah, I think he's going to try and get past and go for my shock infantry. Or maybe not. No, he's getting broken now, actually, fighting these uh, fighting this archer unit. Well, he's tried it there. Oh, there you go, he's broken. But yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty risky. I mean, now we've got some shock infantry up here. They are actually destroying these... Uh, Skirmishes, and they probably do the same to these. Uh, actually, no, this is the uh, the nasty sword infantry. They might do okay. So yeah, clearly the sword infantry is actually superior to the axes. That's not a good sign because the axes are kind of one of our best units, one of the best available units we can bring. It's funny watching like Isaac versus uh, Mercy because they're both so similar. It's kind of hard to tell who's who. The guys with the big old axes, they're defending against just about everyone else. And we've got another flank going on here. Look at this. We've got uh, another axe unit just came up. One that was in reserve. And it's now uh, being sent up and it's going to flank these, uh, these swords. And these guys are now going to get destroyed, really. Looks excellent. Just murdering all these guys. You see, you hear cavalry coming up again. Uh, oh, is it cavalry or is it infantry? We've got a bit of a combination of both. We've got pikes up here as well. We've got a unit called Spear Folk. That's the uh, Basque uh, pike unit. And they're getting focused down. And as soon as they arrive on the battlefield, they get focused down my shield archers. That was just our main ethos for the entire battle. Right, we've just got to focus these guys down. I'm pulling back my uh, my axes at this point. I don't want them getting engaged with these pikes. And I'm going to just flank this unit, get it dealt with, and then we're just going to retreat and not, and get, our, not get ourselves involved in these pikes. These guys are... Uh, even though they've got no general, they're still dangerous. Uh, actually, we charge in. There you go. We charge in. We actually get in amongst the pikes. So we do even better. So I don't uh, avoid the pikes. I actually go, right, let's get in their faces. And you can see, look at this, chopping these guys down. And there you go. I think the pikes broke like that. Um, yeah, they broke just like that. Down to 89 minutes. They actually broke fully. Uh, over on this side, you can see that the Romans are finally starting to break again. This is the same unit of swords that's been holding the line for so long. 68, 67 brave men. Look at them. Just with a... <laughs> got like a... I don't know what you'd say. So many bodies around them. So many dead bodies. They're getting focused down now by archers. It's the best way they're going to get them out of this position. i going to have to shoot them. But if in doubt, I think these guys have got, they just kept getting unbreakable, just uh, popped on them. Or head home, which gave them unbreakable. Unbreakable. So uh, that was the plan, really. You can see at this point, we're now fighting up here. Uh, I am losing here. I'm getting shot in the back uh, by, I think this is the horse archers. Yeah, the horse archers are shooting me in the back. And it's actually doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, so it's a nice little play there by the Romans. And now the Saxons, are, or the Mercians are sending in more of their troops against fellow Saxon, Saxons. And at this point, yeah, I think they start attacking the other barricade. They're trying to open up another breach here. You can see that the uh, cavalry trying to destroy this, uh, trying to destroy this barricade. So we send over an UR warrior. It's not even an UR warrior. We've got more elite stuff now. This looks like it might be like the uh, king's bodyguard or something like that. It's like a really elite. It was like the Khan's bodyguard almost. I don't know what you call that. King, King, Kingless Khan Das. It's like Genghis Khan almost. It's not really, but. They look awesome. The golden armor they look really nice. They will certainly hold the line. At this point, it's a bit of a standoff. Uh, neither of us really want to attack each other. I'm trying. To, need to get my um, need to get my uh, axes out here. They get focused down. Look at this. So many of them getting just uh, shot up. Look at that poor guy with the javelin in his back. It's like my gods are waiting for me, and now I die. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, we didn't really want to fight these guys. Um, I mean, now you can see they're sending up their skirmishers to try and chase down those uh, those axes, and they're going to get caught by the shield archers, and that actually starts a whole like 
combination of stuff going forward. The pikes have been mobilized, the cavalry's come forward. This is the horse archer cavalry of the uh, Romans. It's come all the way from around there, it's run all the way through and uh, to try and get in. It's the same over here, look at that, another one coming in. Uh, so we don't need more cavalry really to deal with, they're already a pain, especially the pikes as well. But we've got a decent amount of men ready, decent amount of men ready. I'm setting over more swords. I'm kind of worried that this cavalry unit is just going to break through. And it's just going to charge through this unit. So I want to put a deeper line here so they, like the carrier punished. Another fresh unit of 160 men. You can see the Javis are losing here. We've got the uh, axes ready if needs be. We need to get them get them away from the pikes. They're the real issue, really. But yeah, you can see that we're running out of men. We've got an artillery piece left at the back. But we have actually got no real reserves. We've got like a bit, but not like masses. We've got mostly reserves over on this side to face the Romans. Who are the freshest army left. Like I've said. And they're, ba uh, they're finally breaking through this first line of infantry. This brave line. These absolute madmen have held the line for far too long. And they're fine. we're finally turning the tide of battle over on this side as well. We've got one of the elite, like, um, Khan units up to come support my uh, swords here. And they are slowly destroying all these weakened swords of the uh, Mercians. Just not got enough uh, strength or numbers to break through this line. There you go, yeah, they're falling back. They might need some more troops over here by the attackers if they want to persist with this area. They're doing quite a good job by the attackers. They're, like, attacking in as many places as possible. They're trying to uh, use up as many of our reserves as possible, and they are. Like I said, we have, like, no reserves at this point. They're, everything's in the front line. You can see the uh, horse archers here pushing through. They've got, um, the horse archers have, like, they have a, uh, they have a lance as well, so they are pretty nasty. Um, this is some good cavalry. And they are breaking through, and there is basically nothing ready. I think we're getting up some, uh, yeah, look at this, getting up axes. They might be able to do the job, but they might get run down here. Yeah, this is going to be painful. Ouch. Yeah, that is nasty. Um, yeah, they, they got a lot of damage. Look at that. They already killed, well, well over, about just over half. Not quite half, but uh, they killed a lot anyway, and they're going to run into the back of that sword unit. Got more swords coming down off the hill. It's just like what few precious men we can throw in at this point. We just need to kill this cavalry, but there's still more cavalry to come. This is now, uh, then it's now um, Mercy's cavalry that's going to come in and do some damage. We cannot have that. I mean, you can see it's going to run up the hill, up this slope. So we, mo we need to mobilize the, uh, the step warlord. He needs to really go back the other way, chase down this cavalry. But we are breaking the cavalry here. And the pikes are breaking. Look at that wavering 119 men. It's because the Basques have no general. Um, we're able to do so much damage to their morale. And like Attila, morale is just so precious. Can't lose your general. And there you go. I think that's the pikes breaking. Yeah, they broke it. 104 men. Jeez. And uh, at this point, look at this. They are using the Akapo. They're going to try and use it to push through this front line. Try and damage it. Not as bad idea. It's kind of a cheesy one, but I mean, it'll work. Also, this just makes it another obstacle for their assault, though. Makes it just as hard to, for them to attack. Fighting off in this little uh, market down here. It's kind of cool. These spears will hold the line for a little while. And then they've uh, got like archer support, so we've still got a bit of ammo here ready. Um, we're kind of saving it more for like these Avrangians, though. The the these Avrangians have got uh, a lot of uh, a lot of men left in them. We need to save that and the artillery ammo. I mean, it's still looking really bad for us. It's still 100, 
1,800 to 2,400. And we are literally running dry now on troops. It is really, really close. The cavalry needs to die at this point because it's uh, it's causing issues. Like that. Here it comes. They're going to charge in. The cavalry of the, uh, the step being sent in. Get support from uh, various swords and whatever else. Absolute mess. Like East versus uh, West at this point. Like Saxons versus Magyars or whoever they are. But yeah, they're getting supported now by uh, my general being sent in. He's going to uh, help kill this cavalry. And that's really what's needed. The general is actually losing here as well. But, I mean, we are going to break this uh, We are gonna break this cavalry soon. So this general will be, will be able to get out of there. That's good. Step Warlord gone. Excellent. And now we can... Uh, Deal with the sword unit. It's kind of the last bit of uh, resistance on this flank, which is really good. And we're now sending down our uh, swords here. They broke this barricade. They never charged through, really. Um, well, they did, I think, and then uh, we won. I think that's kind of more what happened, actually. <laughs> I think we charged through and won. But yeah, look at these. These uh, skirmishes are going to get chopped up. They're actually winning this fight. Wow. I don't know, they're even now. But yeah, these skirmishers, final bit of resistance on this flank. Um, well, they have a general, actually. He might come up. Oh, uh, we've gone past him. There he is, the general here. Let's have a look at this unit. Looks pretty cool. I wouldn't say as glorious as my uh, my swords, but that's that's just my opinion. Oh, you got, like, the uh, famous, um, famous Saxon helmet in some of the units. That's really cool. I can't remember what it's called. Literally had this conversation, like, I talked about it the other day and I've forgotten what it's called again. But ah well, I'll, let's see if I can find it. There it is. Oh, it was really, <laughs> that's really, uh, it was not very, yeah, it's a very famous Saxon helmet, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, they got it in this, they got, like, the model in here, which is really cool, I'm glad they added that. Don't let the others see you like this. It's not like every Saxon would have worn it, but at least some would have, you would imagine. Certainly some, uh... High Lords. Romans losing here again. Their swords just can't seem to break through. Now they're sending up Varangians. Here we go. They got their Varangian guard coming up. And they're going to turn the tide of battle, you imagine. Axe against Spears. Good chance the Axes will, uh, will win this. got to hold the line. My swords with their uh, unbreakable is just so useful right now. Well, it's, it's unbreakable along with um, some of the like attack bonus which comes with headhunt. And the artillery is now firing. It's got actually a good shot there. And look at that. That was a really good shot into the backs of all this uh, Varangian stuff here. So that's a really good hit. We need a few more of that. It's just only for blobs like this is when we were using it. When blobs start to form, we're using the artillery. They've got their crossbows inside. This is the concern as well with Rome, or with the Byzantines. They still have a fair amount of uh, artillery, uh, artillery uh, archers, and we're, and all with ammo, or well, most of them with ammo anyway. But this is what it's coming down to, really. We've got a uh, great honors crew here. He's killing off, really. But uh, yeah, and we've also got the general Mercians general is just coming inside here now, I and mean, we need to uh, deal with that. It looks like the uh, the uh, Khan's troops here are going to go up. The Magyar troops are going to go up that way. And now the swords, for me, hold the line. They're actually losing as well. It's not good. My swords can't win this is a bad, bad, bad sign. I mean, there are axes in here, which I think are what's hurting it. But you may be a few more uh, arrows to be shot in here, just to kind of even the uh, battle out of it. I like how the uh, catapult just sort of like the center of this, uh, this battle. So like, don't mind me. I'm just here. I got pushed forward, and now I uh, just stand here. I love the armor on these uh, on this unit, on this sword unit. It's awesome. How you? I don't know how you even go about saying that. Axe is now losing though. This is a good sign. They're getting shot at uh, by uh, our archers, which is so low now. I think I have about one volley left in them, maybe two. I'm saving it literally for more fresh units of Varangians to come up. I feel like. We've kind of evened the playing field a little bit here, but maybe not enough. Now the general for Mercy is engaged. But there's the famous helmet. 
Um, I can't remember what it's exactly called. And now he's uh, trying to pull back his general, which is a poor decision. He should have just stood his fight. He was losing, yes. But he's going to lose so many more men just doing this. Uh, like, he should really just stand his ground. Like, I mean, if you don't, look at that. That unit's gone down from, like, 90. It was, like, at, like, 90, 100. It's down to 43 men at this point. It's just, you never pull infantry through through stuff in a, in a tour. Never ends well. There, he's getting this famous act. Oh, that's Sutton Who. Sutton Who is what it's called. That's it. Should remember what that's called. Sutton Who. It's a cool helmet. And now, uh, now the general unit is going to die here. I think he's, the general has died. No casualties sustained. He's actually dead. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. And there we go. General unit routed, gone. Uh, they need to get these units back because they're going to get shot by uh, crossbows here. These uh, Ballastari are taking pot shots at anything that's uh, just basically stood here by the wall. And now it really just comes down to uh, the Romans against uh, well, the two of us. We've managed to take out two of the armies. We've done a really good job at this point. It's really finely balanced at this point. Uh, could go either way. The Romans have morale and uh, fresh troops and the ammo. So it's kind of most assets with them really. Uh, they still have their general as well. He's a, uh, a cavalry unit who he has probably the superior cavalry at this point as well. The step warlord is absolutely knackered uh, from fighting. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's kind of it's just the only advantage we really have is the artillery. So all we have really, we have uh, decent troops. These troops are good, but they're not, um, they, well, they're proven here that they can't stop these spears even. Look at that. Can't even be a spear unit, uh, which is a real concern. And in go more axes. This is a really good blob to fire at. They should be firing an artillery piece in here should the uh, should, should the artillery. I think we're going to be able to see one now. Yeah, it's been given the order. I'm waiting for some shots to arc into the air. Hit this unit. Or uh, they might be going or they might be going for the reserves of the, uh, of the Vrangians. It's a much safer target to go for. And they're blobbing up. Oh no, they are going for the uh, for the main fight. Here we go. Very nice. Some good hits there. I mean, there was one that hit kind of uh, into their own lines, but most of these hit the Romans, the Byzantines. Some good shots there. Done a good amount of damage. A lot of wavering here, but we could do sending in some more troops. Got some more archers going in that uh, have no ammo. We've got a tiny little axe unit. Send that in. Even to hold the line now with just terrible units like archers is just needed. Just need to hold the line with things like that. You can see the general is now inside the settlement. We actually couldn't, we didn't actually realize he was inside the uh, artillery going off again. That's a really good hit. Look at that. That's like 50 men that like died in that shot because I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. They're throwing their axes. Look at this. These units have axes that they can throw. It's even more annoying. These guys that they have that. But here comes the cavalry. We still hadn't realized at this point that this cavalry was here. We would stop paying attention. We were so focused on this front line trying to just throw stuff in. And uh, he was setting up his general uh, for, to do a rally at this point. And we were like, yeah, just do that. That'll be fine. And here it comes. The, uh, the Roman general coming in, Magister Militum. Get a point of view of one of the one at, men at the front. They're actually going after uh, the rear lines of our fight. They're a really good charge. I mean, they might get stopped here by the catapult a bit. Yeah, in they go, and now they're getting countercharged by uh, archers and by <laughs> like all sorts. They've opened up a hornet's nest doing this, and uh, yeah, they have actually broken a few of our men, including my axes, which is a real shame. They had 11 men left, but they are now getting chased down by uh, by the general here and by my swords. So they will lose men for being chased down. The best just turn around and face. And there you go, the allied general has just died there, and then I think he just got sniped by a crossbow or something like that. But, uh, I mean, luckily they've not really got many men left. Not relying on them. But uh, we could do with sending in some more swords here. So I'm see a lot of wavering, a lot of losing troops. Got archers going in. This blob is becoming quite serious. Let's just look at this mess. 
It's like a battle of the bastards almost. Just oh, that's a one really bad hit, one really good hit. That was in, sort of in the middle hit. That hit a bit of friend and foe. Uh, can't really afford that. Okay, look at this. It's just an absolute mess of troops it's making it crushed together around this uh, catapult. Now where everyone's fighting. And at the moment, the generals, uh, well, it looks like the Manchester Militants falling back. He's actually losing that fight because of my uh, swords getting involved with the cavalry. Step Warlord's chasing these guys down, trying to get some more kills. Don't blame him. But if we take this Roman general out, we turn the battle in our favor, I'd say. Because they are running low on troops. This is it. This is it for the Romans. They've thrown everything in. This is the last throw of the dice. Could go either way. This Roman, I don't even know what they're fighting here. I can't even see any. Oh, there are a couple of like the step calf racks in here. But yeah, we could do get the swords or pick get them into the combat and fight this Roman general. If we can break him or kill him, one or the other, do what is needed. Got uh, my general up here, he's popping rallies when he can. You can see here, look at this, there's headhunt here. 30 seconds unbreakable. You're unbreakable with headhunt on. So it's a perfect thing to use, especially when your men are starting to waver. Or losing a fight. Just pop that. Gives them that little bit extra. It's what we needed. It's what we needed. But yeah, I think this is uh, Balastari going in. Look at this. They're trying to like get through this gap here. They're losing a lot of men for that. And uh, they're going to get squashed here between... Because the Roman general has broken. So has the Step Warlord. And uh, they're going to get squashed these uh, crossbows between some Saxons. They're going to get a Saxon sandwich. It's going to be a painful way to go. And yeah, that's like Elite Balasari breaks basically instantly. And now he's just basically facing off against this. We've got some uh, capital ammo left. We need to be starting to hit some really good stuff. Like, um, I think it's shooting at this is Elite Balasari back here. Maybe we could do another shot into this uh, guard blob going on here. And I'll get my general back behind this front line. I do not want him getting shot and sniped like the, uh, like the Roman general. Um... I think again, they're trying to hit this. Uh, I don't know what they're trying to hit. They're trying to hit between the two. I'm now sending my unit through the same gap that the Balasari went through, and he's going to silence these uh, these crossbows. So they're going to have to engage, and just like that, they're now in combat. And these guys shouldn't be able to stop my uh, swords. They shouldn't anyway. Lee Balasari just mere crossbows. But the Brandians are still in here doing their bit. It's then that I'm fearing. They still got quite a lot of them in here, and they could turn the battle. They still have three units here in there, and that's a good hit. Some really good hits there, actually. Not getting a lot of kills, but they're just doing a lot of morale damage at this point. Are the uh, are the artillery pieces? It's just such a thin line now, holding back the branch. We really need to send in my general, and there he goes. It needs committed, and that is surely going to help us win this bit. Get this battle. I mean, so close, though. This general could break. Well, not break. These units around him could break, and he could get surrounded. Uh, at this point, the crew is being sent in. We've run out of ammo. We desperately need everything in here. And it's coming down to, like, a few hundred men each. It's 320 to 295. It is really, really close. And there you go. So they're starting to break the Romans. Armored Sagittari. Lots of the crossroads breaking. It's just the Varangians holding on. But they're starting to break as well. They're losing. You see, my general is now... Uh, Turning the tide. And then go the crew. They're the ones scaring them off. That's going to break the Roman army. This cowboy crew doing their bit. And that is going to be the battle. And the Romans are broken, and we have managed to hold on in a 3v2, an imperial victory for Isaacs and for the uh, for the Magyar nation. So I'll have an end the replay and have a look at that. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this was a, uh, a battle I did with some members of the Discord, so it was a really, really fun one. Um, so yeah, Satrex was playing as the Magyars. I was right, he was playing as the Magyars. Um, but yeah, so this was a really, really close one. I was playing as Isaacs, and uh, yeah, these uh, this sword unit just saved me. They had... Like, loads of them got really good kills. 272, 180, 143. Some pretty good kills. Some of them didn't do so well. Uh, Locking charged down and just being beaten by superior swords. But, I mean, most of them did quite well. 
Uh, my general got 128 kills at the end, doing a solid job. And uh, yeah, my axes, 233, 196, really nice kills. Archers, 320 kills, and very nice. My cavalry, Sally, was not so great right at the beginning. I don't know if you even remember that. Uh, so quick and uh, early on, uh, didn't like really, did not a lot of damage. But it did scare the Romans and slow them down, which is kind of like part of the plan, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we have then Sachex, who's playing as the Magyars. His, uh, his step wall looking 127 kills, not too shabby. His uh, spears, Yander Spearmass, is doing quite well. 150 kills. His, uh, his yeah, his more elite swords getting uh, 446 kills. Wow, look at that. 312 is also really good. 166 was Uar Warriors. Did really well. His archers, 334, 236, 254. Really good. His cavalry, his cataphracts, 247 kills. Really nice kills with them. So he did really well as well. So well done to Sachex. Then we have Paranoid, who's playing as the Basques. Really unlucky with his general dying early on. Um, his pikes, yeah, not getting many kills. Breaking really easily because of his general. A lot of his army did break really quickly because of his general dying. His sword, so here, did really well. His uh, really elite sword skin, 314 kills. Very nice. His archers, 102, which is not too bad. Um, but yeah, his, like, his palatina and stuff like that broke really quickly. Then we have Mythic Yeet, who's playing as Mercia. Um, his swords uh, did okay. Actually, not as well as mine, even though they seem to be superior. Um, only getting 96 kills. But they seem to do okay. His axe is here getting 134 uh, kills. Not too bad either. His jabbies did uh, really well. 183 kills. Look at that. And 118. This is really nice. Uh, focusing down like uh, my axes and uh, other vulnerable units. Then the cavalry. His cavalry did okay. 94 kills. Not amazing, but okay. Then we have uh, Normie here, who was playing as the... Uh, as the Romans, he uh, got 91 kills with his general right at the end there. A nice rear charge. Just caught us out off guard. We did not see it coming. Then his uh, swords, his uh, anti Antisignani uh, getting 166 kills. Not too bad. And his uh, Varangian guard getting uh, 266, 221. Really scary. It's why we focus him down because he can get a lot of kills. His uh, horse archer is getting 181 kills and 120. So he actually did really well. And his uh, crossbow is getting 131, which is not too shabby either. But yeah, there you go. This was a uh, really fun 642 uh, uh, AD battle. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this mod, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And don't forget to join the Discord if you want to get involved in some of these battles as well. Always appreciated. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.